Johnson, and here comes the final leg. Akinese Adeline Thompson, and the Olympic champion finds a gear. Jamaica takes the first race. I had to start it off with that Elaine comeback. She had the crowd hyped. Team Jamaica was hyped. I was hyped. I couldn't wait to go out there and run after that. That's why I had to show that. She really set the mood for everything that was to come. And I just knew we were going to have a good day after that Elaine run. Today I'm going to be reacting to my leg and give a talk through of what I was thinking, what was my tactics, and how other people could probably learn from it. So most people don't know, your 4x4 leg actually starts before you even run. You are already thinking, what place is your team in? What place you got to get to? How fast are you going to get out? How are you going to attack that first 100? And kind of having the tactics already built out in your head so i'm gonna start this right towards the end of leaf or green's leg because once i seen him coming in i was thinking about what can i do how i'm gonna attack this leg to win I'm start this towards the end of leaf or green leg because that's when you start thinking about your tactics and i'm doing like a size of how much of a lead does he have what i have to do my first 100 meters so i can catch him i noticed that he got out pretty well so i know that i gotta get out never get out slow your first hundred and here I'm keeping the same distance that I got it with. I don't want him to get too far away because he might get a little bit too confident. I don't want that. The back stretch, you really have to keep your speed. And there, here's when the fans really start to get into it. They notice that I've cut down some of the distance and they really believe in me. And you know Penn Relays is mostly Jamaican fans, so they're going for me. Here on the corner, I'm thinking I got to go get him right here. So I swing out to lane two a little bit. And then I'm going for it. But I almost thought I didn't have enough track left. So I kept going. Boom. Big dub. After that, I just lost it. I don't even know what happened here. I just looked to see what happened in the video. I'm taking my bib off. Never done that before. Showing them it. The rest of us is hyped. The crowd is hyped. I couldn't hear anything. We're just like, look. Can't believe we just did that. See? Commentator talking about Elaine's race. Look. I'm always here like, come on, let's go. Every time I watch this, I kind of get a little emotional because it was one of the best runs ever. What a race. So let me talk about the tactics a little bit. As you can tell, once I got the button, I kept the same distance as he had before. I don't want him to get out too much ahead of me, but at the same time, you're not going to win the race in the first 100 meters. So you have to really pace yourself. The smartest thing you can do is keep that distance, which is what I did in that scenario. Every race is going to be different, but for that particular situation, I know how to keep touch. And at the 200 meters, I noticed that he started slowing up. So I'm like, okay, now I can gain some more ground. But don't kick at that point. Nobody's going to sprint the whole last 200 meters. You have to wait till that last 100 meters, preferably off the corner because that's when you can get a swing into the home stretch as you can tell I swung out to lane 2 to give myself some space and at that point it's just who wanted it more and I wanted it and that crowd was definitely pushing me so let me know down in the comments do you remember that race what were you thinking when you saw that what was your reaction after was it as hype as mine thank you for watching